Ah. The dirty hurdy gurdy. Well, nice. by the looks of it, they serve a lot of lukewarm salmon. After you? Oh, no, no, no. After you. you. Good. Wait, then she went first. My continuity! <laughs> no, no, no. Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is. is Linda. Yeah, you could have just said the one with the guitar. Yep, that's <gasps> Linda, all right. Oh, don't be scared. We're just the accursed souls of dead musicians, forever trapped in this shithouse of schlock by that wretched virago, Ono Skelis. Oh, uh, who's, uh... Ono Skelis, the grand negotiator, the band manager of Hades. And the fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. Mm. But if you want to talk to Linda, just take the cute purple mile down to the end. Can't miss her. And be sure to check out our gift shop. Okay. Hey, uh, listen, this is gonna sound weird, but with Linda, can I, like, do all the talking? Why? It's just, I've never gotten to be that guy, you know? Ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey, if you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome, yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. Sweet. Great bomb squads, and uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Four bomb squads. I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest bladder, but what can I get you? Uh... Lovable wash. What is this one? Liquid courage. Liquid courage. Witty asshole. I actually like the names of these drinks. <laughs> Gin, I don't like. I haven't tried. Actually, I've only had like one or two drinks with gin. A Jeffrey Bomber is what I want to drink. Uh, one more for our friend over there, Linda Landon. Oh, gotta tell me which drink. I'm not a drunk idiot mind reader. Uh, I feel like she will want... send a demon waiter over to her table with it. All right, let's go uh, chat her up, get that invite. I feel like she likes gin. No, the Salem witch trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's staying here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? Have you seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre-show autographs? She's hanging out over yonder. But she hasn't done an autograph since 96. Yeah, the Sharpies down here scream when you use them. Good to know. Hmm. <clears throat> Hi, I'm um, I, uh... <clears throat> yes? A Wolin's Margarita, from the gentleman with the mulberry wit. <laughs> How nice of you. Thanks. Uh... Hey, I, uh, I couldn't help but notice you from across the bar. The eyebrows, the sharp knuckles, 
feels like a tractor beam pulling me in. Oh god, he's oh so god. cringy. Well then, other than my knuckles, what um titillated you from all the way across the bar? If I may inquire. Your body and your oh my god. Your uh guitar playing? I mean it's hard to beat a lady with a guitar, right? It's like a a guy with a crow on his shoulder. If I thought I was like a guy with a crow on his shoulder, I think I'd probably do something terrible to myself and others. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. Hmm. Judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would, you know, care too much if you didn't. <laughs> Hi. And, uh, to be perfectly frank, we want to get into Satan's party tonight, and we read your bicker post about your spare invitation. Are you in town for the reunion? Is that why you want to go? What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we mm -hmm. broke up. And in my discerning absence, <laughs> they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to planet Coke and Hookers. But they all just died in a plane crash, like, a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked him for his house party tonight. Yeah. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. And other places. Many other places. Hopefully. Why'd you break up? Was this a George Michael got too big for wham sort of thing? They were assholes, that's why. Hmm. Well, that and they wanted me to stop trying to rhyme orangutan in every song. Wait, Linda, just... If you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. And it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Okay. Now part of my infernal contractual agreement is to perform shows here and ones tonight. So I can't go. But, and neither can my invitee since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They won't let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. Selling your soul to Satan, why on earth would you think that would end well for you? If the second most powerful creature in the universe offered you everything you ever wanted in life when you were at your lowest, you'd be surprised what you would do for that kind of clemency. Uh, maybe for superpowers or something like like the ability to read minds no and then your soul's a high price to pay besides everyone knows the devil doesn't play fair and yet you're off to see the wizard to play a game where he and he alone determines the winner good point wait, wait let me just uh, let me quarterback this you said there's a contract right well shit people get out of contracts all the time my uncle jeff Thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just, we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay, if you want to try, you can try. But you got to deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Okay. Good luck. You somehow managed to pull this off. I'll, uh, I'll be here. We'll be back before you can say Mercury Worm. Mercury Worm. worm. Come on, that wasn't fair. Wait until we actually, like, leave. So she's downstairs, she said. <laughs> this is a basement. Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. <laughs> As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We, uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be yeah. back. Okay, oh no. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. Mm, roger, roger. Mm, roger, Twitter. Okay. Yo, 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 I'm Verena. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're a black house. Mm. And we're here with a new uh. single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get oh, with can't. a download code if you follow us on Bicker. Uh. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Uh.
Wait, so... What did they say? They said, I get mine. This is way too damn hot and many things to plug on. <laughs> 